Hey there, bookworms. So guess what? We are in the month of February. So you know that that means it's time to celebrate Black History and Reggae Month. Now, I'm super excited to introduce to you a new series. In this series, every week, we will take a look at some of Jamaica's most influential icons and how they have impacted our nation and the world. So stay tuned. I promise this will be a fun one. On this episode, we're going to be looking at none other than the Marcus Mosiah Garvey. It was Marcus Garvey who said, A people without the knowledge of their past history, origin and culture is like a tree without roots. So let's get right into some fun facts about Marcus Garvey. Marcus Mosiah Garvey Jr. was born on the 17th of August, 1887 in St. Anne's Bay, Jamaica. His parents were Marcus Mosiah Garvey Sr., a stonemason, and Sarah Jane Richards, a domestic worker. The Garveys in total had 11 children. As a young man, he worked to improve the conditions for black workers in Jamaica and elsewhere. So why was Marcus Garvey important? Marcus Garvey was a black leader of the early 1900s. He encouraged black people to be proud of their African heritage. His goal was to start a new black country in Africa. Marcus Garvey was also important because he was such a strong advocate of black nationalism that he founded the Universal Negro Improvement Association. That's where he became an inspiration to later civil rights activists. Marcus Garvey was also the one who founded the Black Star Line, which he used to promote the return of African Americans to their original homelands basically calling it the Back to Africa movement. Now, did you know that Marcus Garvey was named Jamaica's first national hero in 1964? He is also the face on our Jamaican $20 coin. Did you know that there was a school named after Marcus Garvey? That's right. Marcus Garvey Technical High School is located in his birth parish in St. Anne. Not to mention, there are several statues and monuments in his honor around popular places such as National Heroes Park, in and around Kingston and St. Andrew, and an entire museum dedicated to his life and work. The Liberty Hall, the legacy of Marcus Garvey, is the only museum of its kind. Isn't that cool? I hope by now you realize that the importance of black history lies within us. It actually lies within our knowledge of what others had to go through so that we can live so freely in today's society. Now, thank you so much for watching. And thanks for listening, boys and girls. So see you next time. Bye.